Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna cover how to work with categories, mainly focusing around how to edit the name, how to merge categories together, and most importantly, sometimes most importantly, how to delete them. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to pages and then find my blog. So down here, you can see my blog is titled articles. When I hover over it, this little settings wheel pops up and that's what we want to click on. Once we click on that, we'll go to advance. And then from there, we will go to manage categories. As you can see, it says manage tags as well. So you could probably do the same here, but let's go to manage categories. All right, so here are a few options. Personally, I think this UI, the user experience here, is not the best, the user interface, user experience is not the best, but let me show you how it works so you get a sense of it. If you have a hundred categories, you could definitely filter through, which is really helpful, but we just have a few. And what I wanna do first is, you see I have growth and more growth. Maybe when I created one blog post, I called it growth. Later on, someone else on the team called it more growth. And then now we have these two categories that we want to merge together. Well, what we do is we click on growth and then we click on more growth, and then you'll see right there, it shows the word merge. So we could click on that. It'll say, what's the new name? And so everything that's tagged with these categories will keep this new name. And so in this sense, I want it to just say growth. Perfect, and then I'll hit merge. Done, just like that. But let's say I misspelled it. Well, you could click on it, and then you can edit that specific one. So it can say, growth, which is spelled right. So we'll leave that. And as you can see as well, you can click on one and then hit delete. If you want to delete multiple, you can just select them and then go to delete and then hit confirm and you'll be good to go. For now, I am going to delete nutrition and confirm. It does not affect the blog post. It just removes the category. That's it. And just like that, we have deleted the category. Now, this is very similar for video pages, events, and your shop, uh, but it is a little bit different. So let's go to videos. This is one of the video pages. I'll click the settings wheel. You'll see categories has its own section column item here. So I'll click on categories and you'll see, again, it looks very similar, but it works a little bit differently. You can see here as you hover over it, you can drag this one in whatever order you want. And small little tip, because it's a little annoying, you can't drag it straight down. You'd have to drag it into the center somewhere and then you'll see it actually move. So then if I do that, it'll reorganize them. Now, if you click on one, it doesn't really do anything, but if you click the three little dots, you could then edit or delete. So if I click edit here, I can come in here and there's some options. If I want it visible on the filters on my site, or if I just want to hide it, um, if I want it enabled as a full page or not, uh, and then changing the name and the URL slug. So with a little bit of digging, I just realized you cannot merge categories for videos or for your store. It's a little bit unfortunate, but you can come in here. And as you see, if you hover over, you could reorganize them with these six little dots or on this side, if you click on these three dots, you can delete it. So that's how you can control them. Um, again, if you delete them, it does not delete the items, it removes the category from each product. So for videos and stores, you cannot merge them, but for blogs and events, and let me show you events, you can. So let me go to events here, and then I'll click on advanced manage categories. And you can see here, if I select two, it's very much the same structure as a blog. So you can merge, delete, all of that good stuff. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. So hit the like button. Next, if you're looking to beef up or boost or 10X your Squarespace website, check out the links below. We have a ton of resources for you. Plugins, downloadables, eBooks, blog posts, a ton of things for you. Finally, if you got value from today's video and you're looking for more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. I can't believe we're publishing three videos a week right now. It's a lot of content, but we are. We're publishing three, maybe even four videos a week right now. So if you want more content like this, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.